Now let me show you how to calculate common rafter lengths, regular hip and valley lengths, and jack rafter lengths on your Construction Master Pro. And keep in mind the keystrokes will be exactly the same if you're using our trig model or our desktop model. We'll be using the pitch, rise, run, and diagonal keys. As long as you have any two of these values, you can solve for the rest. In this case, let's say our building is a, has a 24 foot 6 inch span. So we'd enter that, 24 feet 6 inch, and I'm going to divide that by 2, and, that, and that's our run, 12 foot 3 inches. I'll enter that as run. And this is a 712 pitch uh, roof, so I'm going to enter 7 inches of pitch. And now it's all set. I hit the diagonal key. Uh, the point to point diagonal is going to be 14 foot 2 and 3 sixteenths. That's uh, from the center of the ridge to the outside edge of the plate. You would need to make an adjustment for uh, half the thickness of the ridge and add any overhang for the, the rafter tails for the exact cut length. But that gives you the uh, hypotenuse, the exact theoretical length. If I press that again, common rafter length, it'll give me the plumb cut angle and the level cut angle. Now if there's a 45 degree hip or valley coming off of here, I can press that. That would be 18 foot 8 and 7 eighths. It'll give me the cuts for that as well, the cut angles for the uh, hip or valley rafter. And the cheek cut's going to be 45 degrees since this is a, a regular uh, hip or valley. Now pressing the jack rafter key shows a couple of things. The first press shows that our on center spacing is stored, the default storage is 16 inches. You can change that to whatever you want, but for this example that'll work. The next press shows you the increment, that's the amount of change in distance, or in length rather, from one jack to the next. Now starting from the uh, common, jack number one is going to be 12, 7, and 11 sixteenths, and repeated presses of this key gives us the length of each and every jack all the way down to the corner. Like that. Now let's say that we have a, a dual pitch roof, and the second pitch is a, uh, a nine inch pitch, so nine inch, and what I do with this is I hit convert, and over the hip and valley key it says irregular pitch, so I enter that that way. So now I can hit the hip and valley key, and it'll give me the irregular hip valley length it would be 17 foot one, it'll give me the cut angles, of course it's not gonna be 45 degrees, it's cheek cuts 37.87 looks like, and now I can also solve for all the jack rafters. Same on center spacing, here's the incremental change, and here's all the regular jack rafter lengths all the way down to the corner. To get the lengths of the irregular side jack rafters, I hit convert, and over the jack key it says irregular jacks. So when I press the jack, it says I jack on center, irregular jack on center spacing, the same 16 inches we're using. Press it again, there's the increment of change, and then it'll start with I jack number one, on down to the corner, the length of every single one of those jacks. So that's a quick overview on the rafter functions. For more details, you can download our user guide at www.calculated.com support.